and, and I started this morning by saying, do you recognise the country we are living in? It seems to me the pace of change is now off the scale in many ways and the country is changing dramatically. Do you recognise that and what concerns you the most? We followed it up then with a poll. This is based on Catherine Burble Singh who is an extraordinary head teacher who has a very diverse population in that school. We heard that 50% of her pupils are Muslim. Now she has some very strict rules in that school. Essentially she gets amazing results. She says, right, we're not having any prayers. There's no prayer room. There is one rule for everyone. And that got me thinking this morning, should we ban religion in schools? And so many of you are getting in touch about this. Um, I will read them out, and some of them may offend you, but I will read them out. This is what people are saying. John says Muslims are trying to swamp every institution with their religion and culture. The government has got to get a grip. This is a concerted, organised effort financed by someone. People have had enough of so-called cultural enrichment. This is still a Christian country. There should be a morning assembly with hymns and an appropriate few words said by the head teacher. They should re be respect for the country's religion. That's Amanda. Now, we, I, I said that this morning. This is where I struggle with this, because we are a Christian country, but only just. Well, Jacqueline... Oh, to be free, actually summarise what you said to me this morning perfectly. I'm not a religious person, but I do want our country to remain a Christian one. Why should we have to give up another thing to let way for Islam? I'm sorry, we should not ban our religion because of this Muslim takeover. Now, that's how people are feeling, David, and as you said, it might offend people. But surely it's a debate we need to have. So just talking to Tom, the producer, he says he's not particularly religious. He's but a boy, though. He's such a child. He's 12. <laughs> but still, it's, it's still valid. But he feels that actually being in assembly and having, having that... Uh, whether it's about religion, it's actually about doctrine and how you look after people. It's collectiveness people. And it's, as well. Actually, it's about values, is what mm -hmm. that's about. And I think that is instilled in you in a very, at a very early age. Now, this one says, doctors, it's not that multiculturalism doesn't work. It's that one ideology in particular refuses to integrate and wants mm. to change our societies to fit in with their beliefs. There was never a problem with other cultures. Well, actually, if you think about the Sikhs um, and the Hindus who have come to this country, and actually the Windrush generation, they completely assimilated, they joined our, our culture and actually became part of the fabric of it. So. I don't disagree with that because I trained in a very um, a very big Islamic area in London where it was very ghettoised. Yeah. Banning religion in schools. This is Gazza in Yorkshire, one of our regulars. Good morning to you. Good morning, my favourite Sunday tonic. David, like you, I went to a Church of England school in the 70s. Onwards we sat, we sang hymns in assembly, we did school productions at Easter. That's a really good point, of course. All our so, holidays are religious holidays, they aren't are. they? Easter, Christmas. So I did that to too. To celebrate Christmas. Let me just finish this. With, with multiculturalism in schools, this has faded out, but it always falls on the UK. There's a rise in Muslim practice in these schools, praying daily and leaving early on a Fridays to attend mosques. It's all under the banner of multiculturalism. Exactly, and I went to that school, David, where we said the Lord's Prayer every morning. I still know it word for word. So Apparently it's slightly different in Scotland, I was told. No, they've changed it as well. The Church of England said not changed it, they updated it. There was a Microsoft upgrade. So you don't have it. the trespass against us now, uh, apparently. Some do, some don't, uh, yes. Okay. yes. But and forever and ever is gone. For an ever and ever. I sung hymns. <laughs> My son went to a Catholic school. It hasn't made either one of us into a religious zealot, but it probably did give us some values, some moral guidance, yeah. some collectiveness with our fellow pupils. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. Um, keep those messages coming in, please. It's really fascinating. Do you recognise the country we're living in? What concerns you the most? And should we just go the whole hog, follow France and ban religion in schools? Let us know. Uh, that poll is on X, or you can message us or phone us 03444991000, text the word talk, and your message to 8722 and tweet us at Talk TV, then a space, then hashtag Breakfast Doctors. And Jackie has done that, oh, good. and it's very interesting. She says the trouble with this country is we've encouraged multiculturalism to the detriment of our core values, culture, and identity. We are a divided nation, nation which won't repair until everybody unites to British values, Christianity, and promoting our country. Mm, what are British values? <laughs> well, they're hard to see sometimes, aren't they? They are.